Hello, my name is Cassandra Favell. I'm a police officer and recruiter here with the Hayward Police Department. And we're here today to show you what to expect with the work sample test battery, the physical aspect of our testing process. The WSTB consists of five different obstacles, each worth their own individual score. It's also important to know that the Hayward Police Department requires you complete a mile and a half run in 14 minutes or less. And the test generally takes place here at the Alameda County Regional Training Center. The first part of the testing process we're going to go over is the 99-yard obstacle course. It's a course designed to simulate a short foot pursuit where you have to jump over curbs and in this case a pummel horse. The most important thing to remember with this part of the test is to stay within the cones, to not let your feet touch the curbs as you jump over them, and make sure that both hands touch the pummel horse and at least one foot goes across the curb in front of the pummel horse as you jump over. No other part of your body other than your hands can touch the pummel horse. The next portion of the test we're going to go over is the chain link fence and the solid wall. Both are six feet high and each require a different technique to scale over them. Depending on your fitness level and how much upper body strength you have, you'll use a different technique to get over the wall. The test begins once you cross the first set of cones and it doesn't end until you sprint past the second set of cones after you scale the wall. If you're having trouble pulling your body up using upper body strength to get over the wall, there are other techniques that can be used by climbing your feet up the wall so that you can hook your ankle or even your leg over the wall to pull yourself over. The next obstacle we're going over is the body drag. It consists of picking up a 165 pound lifelike object and dragging it 32 feet from one set of cones to the next set of cones. This obstacle also requires some different techniques. It requires some grip strength to wrap your arms around the body and hold on while also using leg strength to carry that body and drag it the 32 feet. The last portion of the work sample test battery is the 500 yard run. It's designed to simulate a long distance foot pursuit. You're going to start off at the first set of cones. You're gonna do a lap and end at the second set of cones for a total of 500 yards. We recommend that you do not start this run out at a sprint, but that you run at a good pace that you can continue to run faster and faster until you've completed the entire 500 yards. We hope this instructional video has been helpful to you and we look forward to seeing you at the next test.